Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell how to design a 16 by 1 multiplexer using 8 by 1 multiplexer. So as I said in the previous video, multiplexer is nothing but which is used to select one of the inputs from 2 power n number of inputs. Okay, one input from 2 power n number of inputs based on n number of selection lines. Okay, so first before going into the implementation of 16 by 1 multiplexer using 2 8 by 1 multiplexers to 8 by 1 multiplexers. So let me first explain what do you mean by 8 by 1 multiplexer and how to construct what is the IC corresponding to this 8 by 1 multiplexer or MUX. So generally 8 by 1 multiplexer we are having 8 inputs are there along with one output. 8 inputs are there and one output is there. So it is having it has it has 8 inputs and 1 output, 8 inputs and 1 output that means we can write it as 2 power 3 by 1, 2 power 3 by 1 so 3 selection lines, 3 selection lines so 2 power n whatever the value we have in place of n that is representing the selection lines, number of selection lines ok so normally we represent 1, 2 and so on we are having uh, M0, M1 and so on, M7. So total 8 inputs are there, M0 to M7 total 8 inputs are there and 1, 2 and 3. This is S2, S1, S0, 3 selection lines and 1 output Y. This is 8 by 1 max. Okay, this is general construction of 8 by 1 multiplexer, how the number of inputs are connected and how the selection lines are there and what is the output. But when we go to the integrated circuit for this 8 by 1 multiplexer, the IC provided this 8 by 1 function is 74151 max which is 8 by 1 multiplexer ok so the IC relevant to this 8 by 1 multiplexer is nothing but 74151 multiplexer 74151 multiplexer is nothing but your 8 by 1 multiplexer ok this is the IC now whenever IC is considered definitely definitely it should have an enable pin it should have an enable pin. Enable pin decides the on and off conditions of the multiplexer. It has an enable pin used for used for cascading. Used for cascading. The main purpose of taking the enable pin in the IC is for cascading, cascading means suppose uh, uh, this heading we are taking 16 by 1 multiplexer using 2 8 by 1 multiplexer. So we are taking 2 8 by 1 multiplexers and we are cascading them and it gives only one final output. Okay, so it has enable pin, enable pin E that is used for the cascading. Okay, so this is the 74LS151 multiplexer 74151 so we have we have one enable pin that enable pin is an active low enable pin remember the enable pin is an active low enable pin active low that means it should have bubble at the input side ok and the number of selection lines are also 3, S2, S1, S0, S2, S1, S0. Along with these selection lines, we also have the inputs M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7. 
total eight inputs are there and only one output why okay this is the 74 ls 151 multiplexer it is having low active low enable pin three selection lines and along with eight inputs okay it has it has active low enable pin okay whatever the enable pin we discussed so far that should be active low that means it is having a bubble uh, if it has zero at the input then only the chip is activated if one is passing on that it is simply deactivated okay now our aim is to design 16 day on multiplexer using this 74 ls 151 8 by 1 multiplexer okay that is fine but uh, if you see the number of inputs number of inputs are 8 in 8 by 1 multiplexer and 16 in 16 by 1 multiplexer so a uh, two multiplexers we are using means to 8 plus 8 that gives you that 16 number of input but what about the outputs outputs we have only one in a 8 by 1 multiplexer but when we are going for the implementation of two 8 by 1 multiplexers then it gives uh, a six a number of inputs eight plus eight okay but outputs it gives two okay so how to construct them the outputs must be passing through an R gate okay that I will tell <coughs> so now logic diagram logic diagram for cascading logic diagram for cascading the two 8 by 1 multiplexers, the two 8 by 1 marks to get a 16 bit max, nothing but 16 by 1 max. Okay, so the logic diagram includes both the ICs. This is first multiplexer followed by you can also draw in vertical order okay as I don't have place I'm drawing in horizontal manner so it is enable pin where it is a it is having a bubble s2 s1 s0 okay so s0 s1 s2 this is the enable pin along with that we also have m0 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So M0, M1, M2, M3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And selection lines are 3. So it gives one output okay keep this output as a buffered output now we have to run the same on the other hand for the other multiplexer s2 s1 s0 okay selection lines must be connected together whereas the last selection line because it is 2 power 4 16 bit is nothing but 2 power 4 4 number of selection lines are there <coughs> Only three lines are here, so that's why we are taking this into consideration, and then we have a not gate connected to the other multiplexer. And all the selection lines connected together. S2, S1, S0, S1, S0, so here it is 
enable pin nothing but s3 okay so s3 s2 s1 s0 totally we have four selection lines so totally the input must be 2 power 4 nothing but 16 okay so this is one 8 by 1 marks and this is another 8 by 1 marks now the inputs see here this is m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 6 7 8 m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 6 m7 okay so now this output and the fast output must be connected to an or gate to get the final output to get the final output okay so this is final output some yes. x this is individually y1 y2 these y1 y2s are the outputs of and you may have another doubt that here we have m0 to m7 and you may you can continue that like m8 m9 m10 m11 12 m13 m14 m15 so totally 0 to 16 we have total 16 number of inputs for the 8 by 1 multiplexer here it is 74151 seven four one five one whenever you are taking a uh, integrated circuit immediately after taking that you better note down the ic number in the box that means it is simply dedicated for a uh, what is this eight by one multiplexer okay so this is the designing of the 16 by one multiplexer using eight by one multiplexers and one more important point applications of multiplexers applications of mux or data selector so applications coming to the applications we can use this uh, multiplexing in uh, adding signals in joining signals together in communications okay so multiplexers found various numerous applications in digital system and all the times it has lot of applications it has lot of applications in digital system and all types and all types so these applications include these applications include data selection data routing data selection data routing operation se operation sequencing operation sequencing parallel to serial conversion parallel to serial conversion waveform generation and logic function generation waveform generation and logic function generation logic function generation okay so the main applications of this multiplexer include data selection data selection means as we are having a two power n number of inputs we can select one particular data and data routing data routing is nothing but just giving the interconnections and operating operation sequence parallel to serial conversion and waveform generation logic circuit or logic function generation okay this is the designing of 16 by 1 multiplexer using 8 by 1 multiplexers and then applications of the mux thank you